comes down here and says hello to you, it's the proper greeting is to scream like this. Ah! You throw your hands up in the air and scream as loud as you can like you saw a monster. Let's practice. I'll be the monster. Hello, humans! Yeah! Oh, you guys are good. Can you do it louder? Hello, humans! Yeah! <laughs> hey, time to start the show! All right, everybody say, Arras, start the show. Arras, start the show. Hey, I'll be back in a little while. We got a great lineup for you. That's okay, bye. <laughs> See that giant canister? That's when we collect your laughter. The more you laugh, the more power we collect. The less you laugh, well, we may not have enough power to open the exit doors. <laughs> I can tell we're off to a great start. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the lab floor. And now, make some noise for your monster of ceremonies, me, Mike Wazowski. the world, there are a few things you should know. Like if I said, you stink to that guy, it would be a compliment. You're welcome, sir. See, now we're at the Alaska, so the only one here who might make you scream would be Roz. <laughs> we like to call Roz the face that launched a thousand lunches. Hey, why did the chicken cross the road? To get away from Roz! <laughs> She's up on the screen, isn't she? Wazowski, you better fill the can this time, or else... Or else what? Or else this. Okay, folks. Phew. Are you ready for our first act? Oh, humans! Oh, very nice. Very Hello, nice. everyone. My name is 
Ella, this is my little brother Sam. Together we're Sam and Ella. <laughs> <laughs> now my brother happens to be an expert in geography. Of the human world! Wait, wait, wait. I, I thought you were the monster world. I've been studying all about the human world. I know everything there is to know. You do? Yeah, ask me the capital of any country. Uh, I know them all. Uh, I don't know any, um... Oh, ask humans. good idea. Humans, I need your help. Shout out the name of a human country. Go ahead and yell it out loud. Thank you very much. The first one I heard was America. That's easy. The capital of America is A. <laughs> That's impressive. I know. All right, well, go ahead and raise your hands if you know where you live. This could be anyone. Anyone except for that guy. We saw that guy. <laughs> He's kind of famous. He's got a nice wave going on. Now, let's find somebody else. <clears throat> Excuse me. Raise your hand up high in the air if you're a human and you do remember where you live. All right, not many humans seem to remember where they live. That's weird. However, there's a lady who I think is very safety conscious. She's wearing a seatbelt. We're not even moving. She wants to challenge you. Very exciting. She's a good example to us all. Hello, uh, where's Sam and Ella? What's your name, dear? Hello, Jennifer. Jennifer, where are you from? Philadelphia. Ah, I'll tell you all about Philadelphia. No. Philadelphia is filled with Delphias. Oh. <laughs> yes, it's like a chocolate filling. And it's home to the Eiffel Tower. That sounds delicious. Is this right about Philadelphia? Nope. <laughs> uh, next. <laughs> Listen, I like Jennifer. I was talking about a different Philadelphia. Oh, yes, yeah, there's like ten of them. Hey, let's oh, I try it. Let's let's talk to a two-headed human. That sounds impossible. There's a two-headed human. That's amazing. What wow. a bus. I love that. Well, let's find out what their names are. Hello, we're Sam and Ella. What are your names? Edward and Adrian. Edward and Adrian, where are you from? Austin, Texas. Oh, Austin, Texas. I love that place. Austin, Texas is known as the land down under. It's near Canada and it's home to the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> is this right about Texas? No. When was the last time you were in Texas? <laughs> It's all changed since then. You're just making this up. No, I'm not. I even know the national anthem of Texas. Oh. Ba 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 ba. Oh, there's a place that snows a lot, and it's the greatest place I've ever been. Oh, it's Texas with Edward and Adrian. Texas, you got a lot of snow. It's beautiful like powder, and it's home to the Eiffel Tower. Give it up for the Sam. Okay, great folks. Weren't they great? Let's see how they did. Oh, 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 15 gigawatts. Looking good. Okay, this next act is almost as funny as a monkey in a tutu. The monkey wasn't available. He's my buddy. He's your buddy. He's Buddy Boyle. Hello, humans. <laughs> well, you guys are awesome. Everybody remembered, even that guy. <laughs> He's cool. So once again, my name's Buddy Boyle. Today, for you, I'm going to demonstrate my basic, my astounding mind reading powers. That's right. I'm what they call a psychopathet. <laughs> yeah, I just need a volunteer. Who wants to volunteer to have their mind read? She does. Great. <laughs> Hi, thanks for volunteering. My name is Buddy Boyle. Uh, what is your name? Yeah. Correct. <laughs> One small sample of my powers. <laughs> Kim, think of a number. I'll read it from your mind. Do you have a number, Kim? Yes. Great. Okay, before we start, though, uh, here's the deal. Kim, I want everybody to be surprised and shocked when I get it right, so why don't you tell everybody what number you're thinking of ahead of time? But listen, don't worry why you do that. I'm going to close my eyes so I can't hear you. <laughs> Seven. Kim, did you tell everybody your number? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Seven. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Should I open my eyes now, Kim? Sure. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you. I had my spots. Okay, I'm sorry about that. And now let's just Kim. We're going to do mind reading. Okay, if you could. This is where I need your help. And place your hands on your head, please. Yeah, point, point your fingers up in the air like so they're attendants. Perfect, Kim. Thank you so much. That helps with the reception. Ah, yes. I'm getting a signal, Kim. If you could make this sound for me. Thank you, Kim. Couldn't have done without you. Our buddy 
my powers never let me down. Roz, why did you do that? You got it right! Oops, my finger slipped. Oh, well, look at that, Roz. The can's half full. Looks half empty to me. Face it, Wazowski, you'll never fill that can. Oh, yes, we will. Right, guys? Just fill the can. But remember, I'm watching. Always watching. I'm watching, always watching. I'm Roz, and I've got a mold on my... I can still hear you. Oh, the ladies and gentlemen, performing the jokes you just said in, my nephew, Marty Wazowski! And wow, look at all the humans here. This is so cool. Well, hi, everybody. My name is Marty Wazowski. And when I grow up, I'm going to be just like my Uncle Mike because I'm going to Monsters University. Who's heard of it? Come on, make some noise. <laughs> that was so cool. Hey, speaking of cool, guess what, everybody? Guess what? My Uncle Mike got your jokes that you texted in today. Who wants to hear some? Come on, say, oh, yeah. Well, cool. Now to get you in the mood for some of these jokes, i got to show you something really goofy. That's really good. <laughs> that was fun. Hey, this first joke comes in from Brianna from Connecticut. Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Everybody ask me why. Why? Because he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> that was a good one. Hey, um, this one comes in from Tom from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um, what happened to the frog's car when he broke down? Everybody ask me what happened. What he got towed. <laughs> Well, that sure was fun, but I'd have a lot more fun if I could tell a joke with a real-life human kid. So if you're a human kid, I want you to raise your hand up really high. I need your help if you're a human kid. Okay, let's see. There is a human kid. I'm looking over here on this side. Has a, a big red hat on. Oh, yes. We are going to make a great comedy team. Like, oh, good, you've been good today. you got a check mark on your shirt. That's awesome. <laughs> good. Hi there. My name is Marty. What's your name? Tommy. Hi, Tommy. We say, hey, Tommy. Hey, Tommy. So, Tommy, how old are you? Nine. Cool. What do you want to be when you grow up? Do you know? It's a very hard decision. Yeah, you don't have to decide right now. It's all good. Hey, uh, Tommy, do you like sports? Yes. What's your favorite? Baseball. Oh, cool. You like to hoop it up. <laughs> that sounds like a ball. Hey, so, Tommy, do you like to tell jokes? Kind of. You got one? No. That's cool. Because you know what? I got a joke from Zachary from New York. Why did the tomato cross the road? Why? To catch up. <laughs> You're doing great, Tommy. Hey, Tommy, knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange, you glad we had fun just like that guy? <laughs> Thanks for giving it up for Tommy. He was totally awesome. I gotta go. Bye, everybody. Okay, let's give the little guy a big hand. Wasn't he great? Okay, look at that. Promote the one responsible. Oh, yeah, what's my new title? Not you, Wazowski. That guy. <laughs> Give him a big hand. Well, that's our show. Thanks for your laughter. And goodbye, humans. Move someone. You gotta get it. Hahaha. Hahaha. でもあのなんだ優しそうな人だったね。